Hello friends, welcome to the special. So today I just really wanted to tell you about how it is to being stuck at home in Canada. This happens more often than you think. Mostly and usually it's due to weather and it's usually due to really snowstorms, blizzards, and then suddenly you're stuck really for a week or maybe even two at home. And sometimes we like literally you're stuck at home. That means you can't get out because the roads are completely full, so though you can't go shopping, you can't even go to work. Happens, it does happen. Um, especially like in the colder regions in Canada, so for example, in Paris it happens. Uh, but also in the East Canada, blizzards, suddenly everything is frozen and then you are at home. Also, because it's colder, sometimes it depends on like on your health personally. You can be sick, you can get sick. So for me, for example, I get easily sick with well, most things. Honestly, I get really easily sick. The cold really does not uh, like my body can't handle the cold very well. And like you see behind me, my cat like she's all the time at home for winter time. So six actually like about seven months in the year, she is just stuck in home and just sits there, and she doesn't get out. So for example, I get sick easily also from. Um, cold wind my head hurts and then also people like uh, me and others you get um, easily sick when the weather suddenly changes my sister's like this in germany but in canada the changes can be really fast and a lot like 20 20 degrees that's like in fahrenheit what 30 40 degrees you can, you can have one day snow and the next day the snow is melting or like it's uh, getting warm weather suddenly suddenly a snowstorm really happens and then you're sick and you're just stuck at home you can't get out and if you get out for example in a Paris the wind is really strong and sometimes like in spring you still get cold winds for me it's terrible because I can't go out first of all I can't get, uh, make videos because it's really really windy and you will not hear me but also um, really I get sick my head will hurt like from yesterday just a little bit walking and my head hurts and so I have to take today a break and so I thought like hey let's make a video at home because there is no wind in the home and I'm still like a little bit sick and if you have health issues that depend on changes of weather then Canada can be a problem depending on where you live however British Columbia that's west on the left side of Canada is maybe a really good place for you, Vancouver Island, because the weather there is mostly stable. It's between, I would say, 5 to 10 degrees the lowest, and it never gets higher than 22, 25 degrees. That's it. Like summer is mild there, winter is really mild. So if you have health issues with uh, changing weathers then and really strong winds, then maybe you, you can go over there. But if you get really easily sick, Saskatchewan, the Paris, and other places in Canada can be really tough. So this is something you will probably never think about, that you can get stuck in home for a while when you live in Canada because of the weather and other things. Hope that was not too discouraging. Like I said before, I love Canada. It's a great place. Uh, but there are some aspects that you need to be aware of. See you in the next one. Bye.